Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial in the Unity Editor Basics series. So in this tutorial, we're still talking about the menu bar, which is a scene here below the title bar and it has all these menu options a file edit assets game object component window and help so we're going to be talking about the game object option now the game object when we click on the game object option it presents to us a drop down menu and it has all these options to allow you to add new game objects and it also has some alignment commands which we will discuss now what is a game object so a game object such as this cube here is anything that has a transform component and transforming means being able to move a uh, scale and rotate an object such as this cube so one way that you might already know of making game objects is by right clicking in the hierarchy view and then choosing to create a 3d object such as a cube sphere and so on a 2d object uh, such as a sprite a tile ma map and etc so these are two ways that you might already know now a second way is actually to go up to the game object uh, option here and then create objects from this menu. So let's discuss first create empty and create empty child. So you can add an empty game object with the create empty and create empty child options. So here it's created for us this empty game object, right? And if I move this here, uh, you can see the arrows, but not uh, you can't uh, see anything else, so you can't see the mesh. So, an empty game object only, as you can see here in on the right side in the inspector window, an empty game object has only transform values. So it is a single point without dimension. You can use an empty game object to define a point in space for use as a waypoint. You can use it to redefine a mesh's pivot point by specifying the mesh to be a child of the empty game object. It can also be used to create an ad hoc folder system in the hierarchy view. So basically you could kind of make this cube as a child of the game object, right? Okay. Uh, and let me control Z to go back where we were. Right. Now, if you're making a 3D game, you can create all these 3D objects such as cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, and so on. Right. So let's create a cube. And this is cube one here. Similarly, if you're making a 2D game, you can create a sprite, sprite mask, tile map, and so on. Now, you can also add l light, audio, video, UI, camera, effects, such as particles. All of these are considered as game objects in game development. Now, let's make a, uh, let us make cube one to be a child of a cube two right and the way you can do that is to drag and drop cube one onto cube two out here so here you have cube one which is a uh, pink in color and cube sorry you have the cube game object which is the pink in color and it is the parent of the cube one object which is this white colored cube and let's make another object a cube object 3d object cube or you can go to game object and then do it from here and we have now another cube one so let's go ahead and drag and drop it onto cube so you have two cubes right which are the children of the cube one game object so let me just move these so that you can see them more clearly and let me rename them so here i instead of cube one i'm going to rename it as a and 
instead of this other cube one i'm going to rename it as b so we have a and b cubes which are the children of the main pink cube object okay now let me go let me select cube a okay and then go to game object and click on clear parent right so when i when i click on clear parent you can see that cube a is no longer the child of the cube pink cube object it's right up here in the hierarchy window right so when we click on clear parent here in the game object uh, option we can actually unparent the child from its parent okay so let me go ahead and make a the child of cube object again right and now we can see we have q we have uh, cube b and cube a which are the children of the pink cube object okay so it, let's select cube b and then let me go to game object and click on set as last sibling so here in the hierarchy window you can see that the order of the siblings changed so cube a is actually now the elder sibling of cube b right similarly uh, let me keep cube b selected and then go to the game object option menu and basically click on set as first sibling and now you will see that game object cube b is the older sibling of cube a okay so these are some ways that you can do this from game object menu you could also actually just do it from here right by manually just dragging dropping and uh, setting the order of precedence for who should be the elder sibling now moving on let us let me actually delete these objects from here so let me delete cube a and cube b and i only have one cube in my scene now which is this main cube object that is pink colored now let's go ahead and discuss these three commands which are move to view align with view and align view to selected so these are alignment commands now let's talk about move to view right so this will move the selected object to the center of the viewport right so what does this mean let me go ahead and basically uh, change my view change my scene view so now i'm looking at the trees now so by selecting a game object such as a cube from the hierarchy window and then choosing move to view right so let's choose this right what happens is that we move an object to the current view or center of the viewport where we are able to see it so it physically moves the game object to the center of the scene window or to say it moves it to the focal point of your scene view and this is very useful for moving game objects that might be extremely far in your scene to the center of your current viewport or scene okay now let's discuss align with view so this is another alignment command and it's like the move to view command however in addition to moving the selected game object it will also rotate the object with respect to the current view so it's going to move and rotate the selected object with respect to the position and rotation of the viewport whereas the move to view command just moves it it doesn't rotate the current game object with respect to the current viewport okay so this is really useful for moving a camera into alignment so let's try this so let's uh, select the camera game object from uh, the hierarchy window and you can see that the scene view and the camera preview out here in the small window are different right 
So let me go ahead while the camera object is selected, go to game object and then let me click on align with view, right? So your viewport will look, so what's happening here with align with view? Now, this is going to put the camera exactly in the same place as the scene view of viewport. So you might not see it, right? So we have to zoom back a bit. But what you can see here is that the scene view and the camera preview are exactly the same, right? So this, help, this command helps us for moving a camera into alignment. Now, let's discuss the third alignment command which is align view to selected now this is going to do the opposite of align with view so it will align the viewport to the position and rotation of a selected game object so what happens is that your viewport will look to the selected game object and then align itself so uh, let's select the camera actually let's first rotate the camera a bit right so uh, let's rotate it here and let's rotate it like so. And here in the camera preview, you can see that we're just seeing a bit of uh, the pink cube, right? And now let me go ahead while the camera is selected, let me go ahead and go to align view to select it, right? So now you can see that our scene view and our camera preview are actually the same, right? So we, you will see that the scene rotated and moved with respect to the position and rotation of the selected game object, which for us is the camera. And now we're seeing the same thing in the camera preview window and the scene window. Now, the last thing that we're going to discuss up here in the game object drop down menu is a toggle active state, right? So you can toggle the active state, which uh, we're going to select the cube object, right? And let's go down to game object and then click on toggle active state, right? And now you don't see the, see the cube. So let me go ahead again and demonstrate this. So let me just uh, control Z, okay. So here in the scene view, you're seeing the cube object. Now with the cube object selected in the hierarchy window, if I go up to the game object drop down, drop down menu and select toggle active state, it's going to inactivate the cube object, right? And you can also do this from the right side up here in the inspector window, right? So it's this first checkbox that appears in the inspector window next to the game object's name, which for us is cube. So we can activate or deactivate the object from the inspector window as well. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next.